Hey everyone, TechDimensure here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete all viruses on your iPhone. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to start to do is take a look at any suspicious app that you may not recognize and you want to delete them. You can do this by going into your setting and then general and then iPhone storage. And it's going to list all of the apps right here. As you can see here, I can see all of the apps. I'm going to click on show all. And you're going to look for app you may not recognize here. Most of these apps I recognize here, but in a scenario I didn't recognize the app, for example, that I want to get removed, just go ahead and pick an app, for example, and I'll click on that and click on delete, and then you're going to go ahead and delete. This ensures that there's no suspicious app again, so you're going to delete that. Next thing you want to do is go ahead into, again, starting from your main settings, you're going to go to general, and then scroll down little bit further to BPN and device management and in here you're gonna look to see if you have any BPN setup that you didn't install if you do you want to go ahead and select and then delete that configuration along with that you also want to delete any configuration files that you don't recognize here this should usually if you don't recognize setting it up yourself you want to go delete them as well now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is in your setting you're going to go to all the way down to apps and then you're going to look for Safari app. So you're going to look for Safari here and then scroll all the way down to clear history and website data. You're going to click on that and then select all, close out all tabs and then click on clear. And once you see that it's grayed out, we have now basically deleted any viruses that could be impacting the Safari a browser and your iPhone. Now the next thing you want to do is follow this step here. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this big side button. So what I'm going to do is quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold down the side button just like this. And you're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears again before you let go of that side button. So you're going to wait here and let go. This method is known as a forced restart, which shuts down the phone software and reloads the code. So if you have any virus code that may be impacting your phone, that will go ahead and delete that. This method will not delete any of your data, so it is safe to do. If it doesn't work the very first time, go ahead and try it again. All you're going to do is quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down that big side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Now once you're back on your phone, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting, and then go to general, and scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you're going to want to reset all your settings if you still think your phone has a virus. So resetting all settings, you enter your phone's passcode, it will just erase all the settings and anything like Apple cards, keys, and passes will also get removed. However, data like photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. It's a good way to ensure that all settings are set correctly, especially if there's a virus that may be impacting your setting. Now after that, if you're still having issues, the next thing you want to do is in your setting, go to general, software update, and you're going to look to see if there is an update. Usually your update will fix any software issues around security and bugs and any viruses. If there is one, Apple usually updates it with their software update, so it's always good to update your phone software. Now these are all the things you should uh, have to do in order to delete the virus, and all virus should be gone. For the most part, iPhones are pretty secure, so you don't have to worry about using any antivirus software or anything on your iPhone. The one last thing you can do if you so suspect that your phone has a virus is completely factory resetting your iPhone and then restoring it from backup. Generally, this process will involve going into your setting, tapping on your Apple ID account, and then iCloud, and then you want to do a backup of your phone on iCloud if you haven't done a backup. So you're going to do a backup here and then make sure by backup and then you click on backup now. Once you backup your phone, you're going to go into your setting, general, and then scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone. Click on erase all content and settings. 
This will delete everything on the phone. However, since you backed it up, you'll when you set it up again, you'll restore from your iCloud backup, or you can also back it up here to your computer. And after you do that, your phone will have a fresh install of the software with your data deleting any on any virus that you may have had on your iPhone. And that's all you need to do. I hope this video was helpful, so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. See you guys next time.